Feeling full, bloated, and gassy is a sensation that everyone has felt at least once in their lives. Abdominal bloating, which is often accompanied by excess gas, can have different origins, from a food that didn't go down well to a gastrointestinal disease that needs to be investigated. And that's exactly what you'll discover today, the causes and how to treat them to get rid of these uncomfortable problems and no longer suffer from them. But first, check if you are subscribed to the channel, if not, subscribe and activate the bell to stay up to date with the next videos. Bloating or distension is a visible increase in the size of the abdomen. The belly appears full and this causes discomfort. In addition to the obvious physical change, abdominal swelling may be accompanied by stomach pain, discomfort, or noises. In normal digestion, our body produces gases. Bacteria in the intestine are responsible, generating methane, when without oxygen, and carbon dioxide, with oxygen, during the process. Another source of gases and suffocation is air intake. Eating quickly, drinking, talking while eating, chewing gum, smoking, or drinking soft drinks introduces air into the digestive tract. This air can mix with food or be released through the mouth as burping. Certain foods are known for increasing gas production, causing discomfort. Beans, lentils, peas, broccoli, cabbage, and cauliflower are examples. They contain carbohydrates that our bodies cannot completely break down, resulting in bacterial fermentation and gas formation. Fruits rich in sorbitol, such as plums, pears, apples, and peaches, also contribute to flatulence. For those who are lactose intolerant, dairy products can be to blame for extra gas production. Additionally, processed foods and artificial sweeteners are identified as factors that can increase gas production in the digestive system. Want less gas? Here are some practical tips. If you usually eat beans, before cooking, soak the beans. This helps reduce gas production. The pressure cooker is also an ally in this mission. Choose light foods, opt for foods that are easy to digest, such as potatoes, rice, lettuce, bananas, grapes, oranges, and yogurt. They are less likely to cause discomfort. 3. Identify and manage food intolerances through elimination and medical consultation. Improve constipation by increasing water intake, regular exercise, and consuming fiber, such as whole grains, legumes, and vegetables. Limit your salt intake, especially from foods high in sodium. Drink peppermint and ginger tea for potential digestive benefits. Avoid lying down right after eating because, in addition to disrupting digestion, which can lead to bloating, gas and colic, this habit encourages reflux and can cause heartburn, burning and regurgitation. Recognizing important signs can be crucial to your health. Here are the warnings and when to see a doctor. 1. Swollen abdomen. If you notice persistent abdominal swelling, it could indicate an underlying problem. Stay tuned. 2. Abdominal pain. Constant pain deserves attention. Don't ignore it if it becomes a regular presence in your life. 3. Persistent vomiting and diarrhea. If you experience frequent and persistent episodes of vomiting or diarrhea, it is time to seek medical advice. 4. Unintentional weight loss. Losing weight without apparent intention may be a sign that something more serious is happening. Don't underestimate this symptom. 5. Recurrent heartburn. Constant heartburn may indicate gastrointestinal problems. Consult a doctor to investigate the cause. 6. Blood and stool. Finding blood and stool is a clear warning sign. Do not hesitate to seek medical help immediately. Have you suffered with this problem for a long time? What tips will you start putting into practice from today? Tell me here in the comments. If this video was useful to you, leave a like and subscribe to the channel here. Share with your friends and family who need to know this. Until the next video.